In this video, I will talk about our work on interactive and personalized search and recommendation for health empowerment. This is joint work being done within the RPI IBM Heal Center, which involves several faculty from RPI and students from RPI and several researchers from IBM. First, a few words about the HEAL Center. So HEAL stands for Health Empowerment by Analytics, Learning, and Semantics. Our main idea here is to use machine learning and semantic techniques, knowledge graph methods, mining methods, to basically enable uh, uh, health empowerment. Our main goal is to enable personalization via machine learning and semantic methods. And we're going to do this via what we call behavioral phenotype mining. So we're going to learn from users' behaviors uh, uh, to enable better search and recommendation. For example, you know, for a particular disease like pre-diabetes or let's say pre-hypertension, we want to give them better search results based on their personal context, better recommendations for exercises and diet, and so on. Another goal of this project is to uh, enable behavior change for the long term. So we want to be able to give the user tools to what we call self-experiment, that is to design actionable dietary plans, exercise plans, so that they can maintain health over the long run. So this slide shows the overall conceptual architecture of our system. We have multiple sources coming in. So from the personal health devices, you know, Fitbits, mobile devices, we'll collect uh, users' personal data uh, using online authoritative websites like WebMD, American Diabetes Association. We'll collect lots of textual sources uh, to create what we call the disease knowledge graph. From the personal data, we'll create the personal knowledge graphs and we'll also add in knowledge graphs for diets, for exercises, and so on. On the left-hand side, you see the main interactive uh, user interaction system where the user will converse with an app uh, and ask questions and look for recommendations and all this will be powered by machine learning and also uh, technologies for you know conversation agents natural language understanding for which we're using the ibm watson services and we'll enhance them with more uh, with, with newer techniques uh, as as we develop them Here's a quick demo that showcases some of the capabilities our team has built into the chatbot. First, we will converse with the chatbot from the perspective of an 18 year old female. Now, if we go into the app and we're going to ask the chatbot, our app was good for me, the chatbot will respond by answering your question and providing additional information, such as girls your age eat one and a half cups of fruits and two and a half cups of vegetables daily. Now, if we were to move on to another perspective, this 57-year-old male, and we were going to ask the chatbot the same exact question, or it was good for me, the chatbot would reply with a narrow response. So now it says apples are good for you, but also men your age should eat two cups of fruits and two and a half cups of vegetables per day. So as you can see, the responses changed based on the age and gender of the user. As one initial step in the technology development process, the HEALS Project One team conducted a series of design thinking workshops. Design thinking takes a systematic, human-centered approach to problem solving. The primary goals of our design thinking workshops were to generate ideas about target users' needs and potential solutions, as well as to prioritize technology goals. We conducted workshops in person at RPI and IBM Research, and also online using Mural. The main outcome of the workshops was the creation of three technology goals, which focused on activity scheduling, debating information, and social community engagement. So to conclude, we have already built a prototype system uh, where the user can converse with the app and ask uh, different kinds of questions as we showed in the demo. And then based on the design thinking workshops, we have identified two key aims for our project. So we want to build capabilities for debating information, basically asking the system whether or not a certain activity of food is good for you, and also a system for recommending activities, exercises that people can do within, you know, based on the calendar and their 
uh, in their and their personal uh, preferences. So we'll be building a complete system that basically builds all kinds of knowledge graphs and then uses machine learning and mining uh, combined with the semantic methods to enable an effective system for personalized search and recommendation for health empowerment.